Hey you guys, back again with another video. I'm having oxtails, potatoes, because I wanted corned beef hash and, and cheese grits, but instead of, you know, I didn't get the corned beef hash, so I made me some oxtails and potatoes instead. I mean, mm, so yeah, even though y'all saw me make this, I had all kinds of vegetables in it. I'll eat that again, you know, in the next meal with some rice maybe. But um, yeah, I'm back again, y'all. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, thumbs up this video, hit that notification bell to be notified so you know when I drop a video. Y'all, I'm hungry. Hungry. Ooh. All right, we're going to say grace. Amen. Of course, I got my fork. Got my lips hot sauce got my lips hot sauce i love this hot sauce Whew. if y'all hear wind blowing that's the fan i have right here because it's hot mm. these potatoes are so good anyway how's everybody doing um i was debating on coming on here to do a video i was debating yes i was Ooh, oxtail. Ooh, I just wanted some type of meat and potatoes. Oh, a little green pepper got in there. I forgot to add the um, green peppers. But I added it. Mm-hmm. I got me some ice water over here. Oh. Lips hot sauce. I put it in the refrigerator one time. It got it got even hotter. I think he said that you can put it in the um, refrigerator, but it's not recommended. You can. But it's not like um, recommended. So if I don't talk, y'all, I'm chowing down. Mm. It's something about provolone cheese and grits. And this grits, it give it that buttery flavor to me. I don't put butter in my grits. I don't. I do put cheese in it. Mm-hmm. And if I put provolone on here, oh, it tastes real. It tastes real buttery to me. Because one time I put maybe a slice or two of provolone cheese in my grits and no other cheese, just that cheese. And it was like, it tastes like it had butter in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. This potato is everything. I wish I would have put two potatoes in there. I only cut up one potato. Mm. While well, I was in recording, I didn't plan on um, making a, any videos today. And my videos are pre-recorded, so that's why you don't hear me talk about anything that goes on on the news or anything on social media because I pre-record my videos. Yep. So, you're probably going to see this in November, so 
happy November. Wow. <laughs> I'm saying wow because as I'm making this video, it's June. But y'all won't see this until November. But I'll let y'all know when it's previous. Like, the day before or, you know. So, this video will be post you know, months later, after, you know, that's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, I do a lot of that, and sometimes I don't even plan on doing it, but I don't think y'all ever seen me make oxtails before, so I was like, you know what, and I have a lot of ideas, too, of other things I want to make, you know, like cook, bake, you know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, y'all see me make red velvet, right? Lemon velvet, right? I don't think y'all see me make my vanilla bean cake. I'm not even sure. I want to make marble cake, too. It's basically my lemon velvet, not lemon velvet. It could be that, too. But... You can take two types of cake and combine them, but you gotta swirl. Like you pour one cake in the cake pan and then you pour the other batter on top of it, but you swirl it in. Like you don't pour the whole thing in at one time. You like, you know, slowly, slow, um, you know. I mean, you can do it many ways. Like you can pour some of the batter in the pan and you can add a little bit of um, like you could add the, the chocolate batter first and then you can add like the vanilla bean batter and then more of the chocolate batter and the vanilla bean like that and then once you get all of them in the pan you can just take a a, a, a a knife or a fork and you can just swirl it in you know I made that cake like that for um was it my 36th birthday? My 29th, 36th birthday. I think I did. It was a one layer cake. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. You can either do vanilla bean and a double chocolate chip together. Or you can do the chocolate and uh, vanilla bean. Not vanilla bean. The lab, not the lab, the, um... The lemon velvet cake. Y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know. I'm gonna do stuffed peppers. Um, eggplant lasagna, you know, stuff like that. I want to do. I've made those before, I just never recorded myself making it. Like, instead of the lasagna shells, like those lasagna, um, you know, strips, you can use eggplant in that place. I remember one time I was in the hospital, I think I was like 10 years old, and I tried a vegetable lasagna. That was so good. I was like, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. I think I was like 10 or 11 years old. Mm-hmm. When I tried that vegetable lasagna in the hospital, I was admitted. I was a patient. I was like, ooh. I would love to recreate that. I heard something. Ooh, these neighbor's cats is getting out of control. I saw one crawling on the ledge. I'm like, what? You know the window pane? I'm like, outside the window. I'm like, what is that? I'm glad I had the window closed. Hmm. Let me see how much time I have left. Sorry, y'all. Mm. Y'all. To just meet my expectations. Yeah. I'm trying to take a break from rice too. 
that's another reason why I'm doing grits. Because I can really eat this without um, rice. But lately, I've been wanting just chicken. I ain't want no best. I ain't want no vegetables. I ain't want no rice. Nothing like that. I just want just chicken. That air fried chicken is addictive. I'm telling y'all, it's addictive. I can sit there and eat two, three, three legs, quarter legs. Mm hmm. Mm. I mean, my son, he don't like, um, oxtails, um, pork chops, lamb chops. He don't like red meat like that. He'll eat a cheeseburger and a ground beef. That's the only red meat he will eat is ground beef. I mean, he'll eat chicken too, but he loves him a old nasty cheeseburger. No. Hmm. This is breakfast at dinner time, y'all. This is breakfast at dinner time. I'm having breakfast for dinner, y'all. Mmm. It is 8.23 p.m. Mm-hmm. Breakfast for dinner. I mean, I always do it like, I mean... It really depends on what you have a taste for. Mm-hmm. I'm saying this breakfast because I have grits. And normally, you know, growing up, I never actually had breakfast food at dinner time. And, you know, lunch or dinner food at breakfast time. Only time I met my husband, in 2003, I was like, it's nighttime. Why are you coming in here with pancakes, sausage, and eggs? Right? And then, and like my snacks was like potato chips, cookies, you know, stuff, cakes like that. That's was my snack. But my husband, is anything he have a taste for is a snack. Like, for example, I'm going to make me some Franks. That's a snack. And he used to make this cream of wheat. That was a snack. I never, I mean, the only time I had cream of wheat was when I was for breakfast and I was living at my grandma. So she put me on the cream of wheat. I think it was the red box. Yeah. I will always see that red box. Was it the red box? Yeah. I don't think they had the yellow and the white box out there. But now, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I think the different colors means, you know, which one cook, cook at, you know, which one cook for like maybe five minutes, two minutes, one minute. Even though the oatmeal says five minutes, my oatmeal cook longer than five minutes. This is delicious. I ain't even use the hot sauce. Oatmeal, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good <laughs> wait. I didn't know she was going to come right on. I was watching the video on YouTube. Mm-hmm. 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 And also, shout out to you, Melissa B., for shouting out my channel on one of your lives or a few of your lives. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, uh oh. Can't mess up my Black Wives Matter t shirt. <laughs> but it's real good, y'all. And that's it, y'all. That's it. That's all, folks. I cleaned up. I need to drink more water. I don't drink enough water like I should. This keeps me, like, this let me know I gotta stay hydrated. As long as I see this bottle here, 
I'm like, okay, I gotta remember to drink more. Just like this one reminder here. I keep this on the edge of my um, nightstand at night. Wanting to put more water on the ice in here. Ooh, delicious. All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. Because I'm done. No need to keep y'all on for 30 minutes, hour. I said 30 minutes, an hour. <laughs> but, um, whew. I enjoy the making these videos for you guys. I hope y'all enjoy it as well. You know, some can be a little long. You know, because that's what you do when you cook, you know. And I don't like editing. Trust me. If I was editing every video I did, I wouldn't post like every other day. You know, I upload one to YouTube, boom, clear my phone, delete that, delete that video from my phone, make sure the video is uploaded, delete it from my phone, make the, make make room for the next video. So, um, yeah, but, um, since y'all going to see this in November, I'm not going to be posting, I don't know, I can't make no promises because... If I think of if I think to make something, I want to record it, you know. And at least uh, what I can do is spread them out more. I don't. Know. I'm talking about the video. I, I upload every other day. My videos are scheduled to upload every other day. So by the time y'all get this video, I got numbers, numerous videos coming out before this one. So I pre-record a lot of my videos, you know, just in case, you know. You never know. You got to have videos in the chamber, you know. Something called life will happen and you won't have time to make everyday videos or every other day videos. So I schedule my videos ahead of time, you know. So there's days if I don't want to record for a whole week or a whole month, I'm good because I have videos already scheduled for months. For months. But I will let y'all know when I do an update video, like two days prior or a day prior you know so yeah mm -hmm. you know sometimes I want to go like spend time with my husband and my son you know I'm not going to record all the time you know um, I remember B Love's Life used to record every day and she said it's good to have videos lined up like in the chamber so, like, you can go on vacation if you get sick, you know. You know, you have videos already lined up. You know, spend time with your family. You know, because, I don't know, everybody don't want a cam um, camera in their face. You know, your family I'm talking about. You know, everybody, like my son, he don't want to be recorded. He do not want to be on the camera. <clears throat> he do not want to be on this camera. You know, so, I guess that's a... Uh, what they call it? Gen Z? Gen Z? I don't know. Whew. But, yeah. No, that's not all, though, because there's some kids, 13, 4, that want to be recorded, that want to be on camera. They on TikTok, you know, but not my son. <laughs> I guess I took too many pictures and video of him as a baby, you know. Uh, oh, excuse me. I must have ate too fast. Whew. So, yeah, so, um, and, um, I don't want to record around my family, you know, because even though I'm a content creator, um, some don't know I do YouTube. My twin sister know, my husband and my son know I'm a, I do YouTube, I'm a content creator because I'm always bringing, I even told my son, I said, when you going to upload, because he have his own channel, my son, I said, when you going to upload, and I was like this. I said, when you going to make some more of your videos? And I was like, everything is content. Everything is content. Don't forget to film it. Don't forget to film it. Hey. <laughs> everything is content, you know. Just showing off a new pair of shoes or a new, oh, a new outfit or something, a new hairstyle. is content, you know. Posting 
whatever. You in the kitchen cooking. You reading the book. That's content. You know, like if you in there doing the dishes, record yourself. That's content. I already did the dishes before. I... But yeah, recording yourself, washing the dishes. If you can do hair, you record yourself making. I told my sister, I told, I told my twin sister, I was like, yo. I said, Renee, you got to do a channel. You come out with a YouTube channel. And she was like, what would I do? I said, um, hair. <laughs> That's what you like to do. You know, because she's a certified cosmetologist. You know, she went to school. She graduated. And she, um, yeah. So she's literally got, she's a licensed cosmetologist. I said certified? Licensed cosmetologist. So she can work in these salons, um, get a booth, you know, have customers come into her. She could do that, but that's not her main source of income. You know, she has another main source of income. So, yeah. So, um. I was like, yeah, you can do hair. Like, you can wash, you know, do a video. Not even the washing the hair part. You can just do a video braiding someone's hair, installing a wig, you know, because she loves, she loves fashion. She loves hair. She loves makeup like that. So I was like, do a make, you know, do a video like that, you know? You know, do a video styling your hair, you know, even before you go to your regular job, you know? Do, record yourself installing your weaves and stuff, you know? Shout out to the people who can do hair. Thumbs up to y'all. I applaud y'all. Shout out to y'all who does hair. Because I'm telling you. I did my hair that video. The hair care video. I was over it. I was like. I can't do it. Let me just go pay somebody to do my hair. Wash it. You know what? And it's even more better when you. When someone else is like. You sitting back in that chair with your head, head back like that. In that black sink. And they, they just. Ooh. They just. Mmm, massaging your scalp. I mean, one time they almost put me to sleep. I was like, ooh, child. Them, mm, them Africans can give you good, good head massage, you know? Um, and thank you to my hairstylist that passed. But, ooh, I love a good head scrub, you know? Ooh, they massaging your scalp, getting that blood flowing. I don't even know how many minutes I have left. Ooh, I even... <gasps> Ooh, all right, y'all. I started talking. But, yeah, so I was like, yeah, you can do a channel just doing hair. Braiding your daughter's hair. Braiding my hair. Braiding other people's hair, you know? And, you know, shout out to those who can do hair, you know? Like, ugh. shout out. That is a, a great talent to do hair. Like, you see a picture of a hairstyle you want, boom, you get the stuff you need. You can do it yourself. And shout out to people who can braid their hair in the back, you know, like, you know, like, um, box braids and stuff. See, out of all my siblings, out of all my sisters, I'm the only one that don't know how to do hair. My sisters, all three of my sisters, they do, they know how to do hair. Because my sister, um, that's selling the candles, used to always braid me and my sister's hair. You know, me and all my twin sister's hair. You know, so we didn't go to the Africans. I, don't, I went to the Africans as I when I got an adult, you know. But, yeah, my sister used to always braid my hair, you know. And cornrows, not cornrows, box braids. So, yeah. That's a, that's a talent. I wish I, I could have went to school for that. But I, I wanted to go to school for CNA. And instead of me picking that, you know. Cosmetology. They had cosmetology. They had CNA, um, and I think they had accounting in in um, my old high school, Jane Adams, uh, vocational high school. But yeah, um, I chose nursing. You know, but um, I'm gonna let y'all go. Sorry to let keep y'all here. Like ten minutes after I said I'm gonna go. Whew. That was delicious, y'all. I'm getting ready to watch me some Riverdale. I got six seasons to go. I love watching serious, you know, like episodes, you know, like one episode go boom, another one come go boom, boom, like that, you know, like 10, 12, 20, 13 episodes in one season. And then it rolls over to the next season. So I'm already down one season. I got, I'm on season two now of Riverdale. Y'all, Riverdale is... 
um, the remake, not the remake, but like the characters from Archie's Weird Mysteries. I never known that. I was like, because I heard I was playing a preview and it said Jughead. I'm like, what? And they was like, Betty, Archie. I'm like, what? At first, I couldn't get into it because it was dark. Like, it was dark. I don't. I don't know how to explain it when I say it's dark, but it's dark. And then come to find out, they said it's dark here with sins, with secrets. But to me, I, sh I, I, I fell in love with that show because it reminds me of Supernatural. They're around in the same area. Both of them is dark, you know. And I was saying the other day, I was like, um, after a certain Superman movie... Was it Superman? I think it was Brandon. He was Brandon somebody in, um, I forgot his last name, in um, Superman Returns. And then it was even dark in that one. Like the, the movies that Christopher Reeve was in, those wasn't, it's like it changed. Like it shifted to like, I don't know if it's a scenery because the scenery was dark or anything. But um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about this in another video if I remember. But you know, so, and I love shows on Netflix that is a series of many, you know, has many episodes and many seasons, and they're in a high school setting or school settings. So I like stuff like that. I was watching a show, Never Have I Ever, on Netflix. It's about an Indian family in America. Um, well, I said in America. Yeah, they was living in, um, I forgot what city they were, town, whatever they was living in. But, um... What else? So I like watching shows in school settings. And Riverdale is, you know, in a school setting. They high schoolers. So I was like, that this is kind of dark, though. You know? I know I'm late to the game, but there's stuff I still haven't seen. And I take my time, you know? Netflix, if I was to give up all my other streaming services, I'd stick with Netflix. I let go Amazon Prime, I let go Disney Plus, I let go Hulu, I let go um, Peacock TV, but Paramount Plus is another one I want to get. I had that before. I want to get back. I got a lot of shows I'm going to catch up on. So, um, yeah, so I just realized that I was like, Riverdale is dark, you know, like. It started off with a murder. I'm like, okay. It was like thriller, suspense. Um, but then I was like, okay, I used to watch Supernatural. They the same thing. Even though they wasn't in the high school setting. They wasn't high school. They was grown men. But yeah. Who would have thought I would get into that? And I never knew that that was a show. I'm all late. What was that, 2017? Oh, sometime that, you know what? I don't feel bad sometimes. I, imagine. I don't feel bad sometimes because I don't know everything when it comes out, you know. I don't know everything when it comes out. But when I do, I'll be like, okay, get right on this couch, turn the lights off, get me some snacks, you know, get comfortable, and um, watch me my show. Sometimes I be binge watching one season at a time, like one show at a time. Okay, Riverdale. Oh, I don't want to get um. Oh, the last episode it came out in twenty twenty two, so it got six seasons, and I'm on season two, episode two. But by the time y'all see this, I'll be done watching this. But yes, the suspense is everything. You know? It says fear, gore, language, mature theme, self-harm. Self okay. Suicide. Oh, Ooh, was I supposed to say that? Anywho, y'all, I got it on the screen right now to watch it. I'm getting ready to watch it. <laughs> I got my fire stick remote right here. Okay, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. This video was longer than it should be. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. All right, y'all. I'm trying to see how much... Uh-oh, it's flashing. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.
Until next time, stay blessed.